Hello. All right. So this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to merge two different chunks. Um, and that's what your lab's all about. It's trying to get your object to stitch both top and bottom together so that you have a full spherical view of what you're going to be uh, making here. So to get us started, I have the same the same example that we were using in class. As you can see, the little bombotic speaker that I had. Um, I've got two chunks. Remember, you're going to do this in separate chunks and then merge them together. Um, and you've already got your photos, hopefully, from your photo set into two individual folders. And those folders essentially represent two different chunks that you would be using here in Agistop. So you'll bring one folder in here into chunk one. You'll run an alignment, just like I've done here. And then double click to change chunks. Chunk two, you'll do the same thing. If for some reason, when you switch back and forth between these, one doesn't show up, remember, you just go over to your photos here, right click, look through, and it brings you right to the object looking through that photo. So keep that in mind. So I've got both of them aligned. And as you can tell, um, I already have my registration points showing up and I've got the object showing up. So everything's looking good. Um, something I had you guys do in the lab before you even run an alignment is to go ahead and do a detect markers. That's up here, tools, markers, detect markers. With that, click OK, and it shouldn't take too long, but it'll go ahead and detect those markers even before you run an alignment. Then you can go ahead and run an alignment. If you do it after the fact, that's fine. It's just I'm trying to save you a little bit of time. So when you do that, go ahead hit the flag, make sure your targets actually do show up. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Unclick them. Uh, if you want, you can add scale now, or if you want, you can do it later. It's up to you. I remember scale could be done on, with objects at any point in time, especially with these automated markers. If you were going to do it now, just go to reference, choose two markers that are next to each other. Here, 15 and 10. I know those are 50 millimeters apart, so I would go 10, 15, I hit control, right click since they're both highlighted, hit create scale bar, and then type in, you know, whatever the distance is there. We know it's actually. 50 millimeters, and you'll just type that in there and make your little scale. But the point of this video is to familiarize you guys with, you know, how to merge two chunks. So I'm going to spend time on that. All right, so you got your two chunks. You want to merge them together. Run them not only through the alignment, but also through the dense cloud. You notice I've got my dense cloud here as well as on the other speaker, which is way back there. Let's bring it over. There we go. And they're looking good. And, and the key here is to make sure you have enough of the object to actually facilitate an alignment. So I know this is my Boombotix upside down. I know I've got enough of the top that when I actually do the top, here's a right side up, I'll have good overlap, right? I could chop away this bottom part and the other, the other model is going to give me enough of it. And if I go to the other model, I could chop away enough of this, like right in here, but my other chunk will be able to make up for the other half. So that's definitely enough to make the alignment. So let's go ahead and start the process. So you don't have to actually go through all the way to the mesh and then the texture to do an alignment. Uh, the only time you'd have to do that is if your point-based alignment does not work. Okay, so the key there. You don't have to run it all the way through to texture unless the point-based alignment doesn't work and you actually have to go do a marker-based alignment. So let's just try point-based first. So we go to workflow, align chunks. We see our two chunks here represented in the dialog box. We have our choices here, the type of, mar of alignment we'd like to do. We're going to do point. And we're going to have our accuracy up on high just to try that out, point limit. And we'll just keep it there at 10,000 and hit OK. All right, and so my computer, and because I'm using video, I can do this thing super fast. There we go. We have our alignment, but I see nothing here. What's going on? What do we do? All right, I got to toggle this thing. So now to check to see if your chunks did align, you have to toggle the Show Align Chunks button right up here. Ooh, that's kind of nice, right? Toggle on. I see both turntable platforms, one on the opposite side of the other. Looking pretty darn good. 
spin that around. Yeah, we got two chunks lines. So now what I want to do is edit out the turntable on either side. Remember, the active active chunk is the one you'll be deleting from, which is the one that doesn't disappear. So I can take the bottom turntable off there. Have my selection tool. Cut out the bottom. That's gonna be gone. Cut out this little piece that's there. That's gone. Great. Ah, now I have no bottom there, but that's fine because the other side will make up for it. Uh, now I'm going to switch my selection of the chunks over here. And I can take off the other side of that turntable real quick. Bam. Oh, no, it's gone. No, oh, it's back. There we go. All right, so now we have the two chunks aligned. And now I can do what is called merge chunks. Let's do that. Merge chunks. And I double click here, and I'm actually, I want to untoggle so that I'm just looking at the one dense cloud that's now currently merged completely. They're not separate, right? This looks like it's ready to go through the rest of the process. I would go through workflow, build mesh, workflow, build texture, and essentially be done if it's looking really good. Um, adding scale at some point in time, obviously. But let's say this doesn't work. So if that doesn't work and you have to do a marker-based alignment, um, essentially you'll have to bring this completely through to where you can actually see texture so we can get this going. Um, <clears throat> and what we'll want to do is choose somewhere between three to five different places on the object that we can see in both top and bottom portions in order to make that alignment happen. Uh, for instance, one of these can be Oh, here, right here where it says out will be my point number one. If I hit add marker, it becomes point one. Point two, and you may want to take notes on this as you do it because it can get confusing which point's which. Point two will be this little arrow right there, right in the middle. Boom. That's point two. So I have one and two. Uh, let's do a third one right here in the back, right in the little eye. That's point three. So point one was the O in the out, two was the tip of this little arrow thing on the USB symbol, and then three was the little I. So we switch back over to the other chunk. I have to look through so we can get to it. There we go. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, here's the O and out. There's point one. Point two is on the other side. That little arrow right there. And the other one was the back here, the little eye, point three. Middle. All right, so you got one, two, and three. That should be enough to make these two things align. But let's let's give it a shot. So you go up here to workflow, you hit align chunks, and instead of point based, this time you're gonna do two, you're gonna actually do marker based. Um, and just hit OK. And hit the test. Take move points off there and test to see if it worked. Looks like, yeah, look at that. We got both of them completely aligned. It looks like there's a little slight misalignments here and there. You know, that has to do with the accuracy of where I place the point. But what we're actually going to do is merge now merge these two chunks, um, but not the entire model all the way through, but up until the dense point cloud. So see how here I've, I've got it all the way up to textures. Let's go back to dense point clouds and do some editing, just like we did from before. So I'm going to cut off the bottom of this. Let's see. Yep. So I'll cut off the bottom. This guy here completely. We don't need it anymore. That's good, and then I've got to switch chunks. Turn it off. Turn it on. Oops, I turn that off. There we go. And we're going to highlight these guys there and get rid of those. Yep, looks like we have our, our thing here. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to merging chunks. Just dense clouds. Don't merge the models. Don't worry about any of that. Just dense clouds. Hit OK, boom, it pops up right down here. We switch to it, we run it through the rest of the workflow.
mesh, and then texture, making sure we add scale at some point. So that's your tutorial for today. Um, like I said, try both. Point base first, it's just the easier one. If it does align, fantastic. Always feels good. Um, or if that doesn't work, get into your marker based alignment using something unique features on the texture that shows up in both halves of the model. So for this lab, you want to make sure you do get something to stitch well, kind of like here in the example. So good luck to you guys and get started early.